Blueprints walkthrough plus tips, tricks, and all DLC. So we have all the DLC and we plan to show them, not in this episode of course, but throughout the series, simply because all the DLC is only available for after a certain mission in the game, and that is a fair while from here. So let's get straight into it. We need to collect the torch on the table and head straight to the guard dude. go straight to the objective. Actually lads, before we do any of that, I know what I'm going to do. WH underscore PL underscore show fire cursor equals 1. So if you remember from the previous episodes, what that does is put your fire cursor on for your bow. Without it, Aiming is actually pretty hard, you require genuine skill and the ability to line up with your sight to do it. it. Honestly, it is an amazing feature that they didn't give you a fire cursor. Like, it just feels so realistic, it's unreal. unreal. But I personally always play with this little thing here, simply because the bow is always my main weapon. Because we destroy entire bandit camps all by ourselves. So let's now continue. We'll talk to Captain Robard. Prepare for the worst. Hello. But don't be daunted by their numbers. What's going on? My command, all will end well. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmog in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scouts. Then who is it? The Scouts give his scent to Scouts to spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies say? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here. Won't we? Aye. This is a rather large one, isn't it? But those aren't soldiers. Oh, who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions. Who else, Robert? Blasphemy! What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. Don't we all? Well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Yeah, that's fair enough. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you. He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. 
I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will, and good luck to you and your people too. It's a dark times. Indeed they are. After all, it is night time. There's not much sunlight. What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes. Yours are key. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. The guy only just got shot on an arrow in the leg, though. Like, they're not even letting him sleep a single night before they put him on duty. Like, I don't know what's going on. Give me a second, lads. I'm just going to turn up the... Um, no, I think that's perfectly fine. We'll go with that. I was just thinking that the voice's volume is a tiny bit low, but it might be my headphones. I'm not quite sure. All right, let's just stay on watch on the on here, I guess. I don't know. So to bring out your torch, you just press one, lads. Well, you don't press it, you hold it. So pressing one is how you draw out the weapon. You need to hold it to draw out your torch. I can't even see down there. That's how dark it is. And that guy was talking about dark times. Of course it's a dark time, it's night time. The guy's a bit impressed. Alright, we'll stand here for a while. And hopefully a guard will come and relieve us soon. Oh, hello. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Alright, now we can skip time by pressing T, as it says up in the top right. And then we'll wait until morning, simply because why would I ever stand in the pissing rain for no reason at all in the complete darkness? Right, wait a second, lads. It's just loading up the time skip thing. It doesn't normally take this long. It's just that my... Well, it's late in the day and my PC's had a lot of resource usage. Hopefully we don't crash. If we do, I'll cry. Please don't crash. I mean, technically time is passing, though, so that's not too bad. So, as it says there, tiredness and hunger grow even during skip time. However, there is actually a perk that you can get which stops you from getting tired when you're standing perfectly still. So, when you use a time skip, you don't lose your tiredness. So I don't think there is one to stop hunger going down, but it there might be. And yeah, let's wait until five. Because that's pretty much morning, more or less. Like, five is morning, twelve is noon, and nine is, well, night time. I am so sorry for that it crashed there for a while, lads. You can finally see the terrain. Happy days! Guys. Do you know what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to rob them blind. So we don't actually have a shield yet, and we need one of those. So I'm stealing this one, and let's equip it. <laughs> so shields are very good for blocking, 
And there's also a few chests in Talmberg that are that you can lockpick. And I always try to make a habit of fully lockpicking Talmberg. Simply at the very least so that you can get some XP. Oh no, we have no space for that shield. Ah, oh, damn it, I've, I've screwed up, lads. Actually, is there a better bow in there? No, there's not. I'm pretty sure that mine is 49. Alright, let's continue with the main mission. That horn signifies they've found enemies. But let's see, how much space do we need to get rid of? Oh uh, my god. Okay, so we need to get rid of a lot. Okay, um... Screw it. We'll, we'll leave it for now. We'll come back when our, when our strength is higher so we can hold more. Go, go! Yeah, you can really see that they don't expect you to have any decent gear even up to this point. They still think that you should have the basic Henry clothes. So you can tell that my tips and tricks have actually come in useful because even the developers don't think that you'll have any good gear to this point. Because in Scalitz, you wouldn't have killed anyone, you wouldn't have robbed anyone, and while escaping from the Cumans, you definitely wouldn't have been able to kill a single one. means the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. Yeah, the guy kind of lacks charisma, doesn't he? You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Wouldn't that be good? Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. Shit. That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and kill my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. Without doubt. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Mate, he's I been a bit insolent, the hasn't king, he? Then, that Zeratzi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. You can see how I wise will lay your words is. to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. So, Devish was definitely incredibly insolent there. 
but you could see the wisdom in the way he responded to asking if he, the, if he had the loyalty. Like, if he responded yes, then he would have been forced to join their army or to farm to them, rather. Like, he would have probably had to hand over all of his money. Oh. The guy could just talk instead of doing weird hand signs. Like, how does he expect his entire army to see him wave his hand? My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. <laughs> the way Robard acts, he can't even handle that captain's mace. It literally seems too heavy for him. What they should have done is toss an enemy, well, an, a soldier into the wilderness and then snipered the king. Well, not the king, but, well, he's a king technically, but the enemy king, dude. I mean, obviously, the army would have started pillaging everything in the countryside to make up for the fact that they no longer have an employer. But, you know, you've, you've ended the war. Jesus Christ be praised. Sir Robard. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. I have to bury my parents, bud. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Good God, boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalets and then come here, too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. Yeah, like, I don't understand why Scalets is so underdeveloped when they literally run the silver mines, which prints the Groschen. What happened in Kuttenberg? Gutenberg, well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Jivish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed, but it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad, these are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas. Wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? <laughs> so he could loot it? Correct. Oh, I was right. <laughs> King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him, and also gained immense wealth. Let's end that there. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're now supposed to get a horse to get out of here. However, as I said, there is actually still some more chests for us to lockpick, and I intend to do just that. But let's talk to this dude Jesus first. Christ. Can we trade? If you so, this is the guy that you can get your first lockpicks from. Actually, don't do that. Buy them, you silly goof goof. And let's sell some crap. So this thing's pretty much useless. It doesn't actually change your odds at all I believe so hmm I'm gonna sell all the cheese because it's worth the monies so this is for curing poison so if we ever get poison that's just a good thing to have Wait, what coif do we have uh, 
this. We'll set it. Okay, so let me talk to this guy very quickly. God be. I need to get up. Says who? I'm not trying to make a fool of you. Do you think I'm a total idiot? Uh, On the other hand, you've dressed up so nicely, and it's a shame to. Yeah, let's give him some dough. Fifteen. Now gushing. you're speaking. Good luck to you. All right, so he's gonna open that, but we still need to get a horse, and I shouldn't have done that so prematurely because we also want to lock pick all the chests. So we can start assassinating the dudes in the castle as well, just because it's absolutely hilarious. Like, I've done that several times. I'll show you. I'll sh um... <laughs> take this. And Oh, he has a Polish cuirass. And we'll take that. And save your snaps. Run! Aww. Right. He has save your snaps. That was good for us. Now, we have some junk. Uh, we don't have enough space. Light limo, 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 limo armor. So this is 49. This is 187. Plus, that's almost destroyed. So let's get rid of it. And these, we simply needed them to begin with. We did originally get some from a dude in Scalitz. However, we had no space for it, so we dropped it for a moment. Well, yeah. Alright. Okay, so that... So whenever you hear that sound, that's actually your stuff raising in level. That'll have to be the case. I'm so sorry, lads. Well, we've, we've gained loot at this point, so we've gained a better, um, better chest plate as well as some male chalices. We didn't have those before, so our defense is now much higher. Goof. Ah. I've just done goof, lads. Ah. All right. Ah. I should have saved. Well, you won't. All right. All right. I should have saved, lads. I'm so sorry. What have I done? I've just screwed myself. His, he, I wasn't able to get to him because my stealth is not high enough level. I regret that entirely. Okay. Who are you? I'm the guy who just attacked you, you idiot. Ah! So we're not actually allowed to be in there. Mm. Damn shame. So there is one thing as a tip that I have for you guys. So the... Not the custodian. I don't know what on earth his name is. But the guy who lives in here. He actually has... One second. One of these. But it is the best in the game. Well... I think it is the best in the game, actually. Right, a guard's just gone past. So if anyone wants to know, this guy here is your horse. Always make sure to close your doors, lads. So you, you are very noisy and... Direct line of sight matters as well. I'm not stealing any of that. Oh, there's people sleeping there, which means that we can't do our criminal activities. I have a nefarious plot, lads. So what we're gonna do 
is save here. We'll drink the savior snap so we get drunk. And with enough luck, we can actually open this very hard lock. And if we get caught, bing, bang, boom, we can just load our previous save. Damn. Alright, so this guy will notice us for sure if we try to get in there. This is the guy that I was referring to, lads. The Chamberlain. He has this thing here. And that is the most powerful in the game as far as I'm aware. Hello, Divish, my boy. I'm just going to keep You said something the about a message? What was it about? Ooh. Nothing terribly urgent, sir. Just a reminder from your cousin that he'll come in a month. Ah, I see. Well, remind me the week before he arrives. So I'll have time Things to prepare properly for his visit. Of course, sir. It's cool to see that they set up interactions like that, honestly. That's my cobbler's kit. Hmm. Come on, hurry up, brother. Leave. Go away. Shoo. I want to fuck up the Chamberlain. Come on. Scutch, scutch. Hey. So we can talk to the guard, but not to the Chamberlain. That grave digger has taken his time. Oh, no. They're intending to wait until the guy comes to collect the body. No! What have I done? God damn. Move. Come on. Scoochy scooch. Okay, I'm gonna... I guess... Do that other chest. <sighs> what is our stealth, actually? Our stealth is nine... So we can, at this point, already kill most, not most, but a lot of guards. We just got unlucky with that previous one. His stats must have been fairly high. His, his gear was good. It was nothing of your concern, busybody. That's more XP for us. Which corpse are they referring to? There should only be one. So I know that I'm wasting time, lads. It's simply because I really want this dude's coat type <laughs> thing. What's this called? A doublet. A body garment. That's what it's called. Body garment. Okay, I'm going to tell you what. I'm not going to waste any more of your time, lads. So we'll get straight into it. So there is some more chests in this area here, as well as in here that we can jack. And there's one right here, but we can't because that guy's in there, so we're screwed. Actually. Ah, she's in there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to continue on with the main story simply because there's too, ma too much risk right now. So when I when I do this, I do normally take a fair while to do it, to be fair. Yeah. Like, because I'm always, I'm always ca careful. Yeah. Because as, we don't actually have the repostage yet, so we can't actually win. The best we can do is archery. Open, Open the gate! I hope it's not another fall. How many more times... Just hey! this time, brother. Open the gate. Yeah. So this force is fairly slow. But this is the one that we came from Skelets on, I think. So I think we'll go back to Townberg later and steal his body garment. Come on, don't. Yeah. Come on. Also, guys. Try not to go down hills like this, because you'll often find yourself dead. So there's, you can actually steal yeah. from merchants, so all of his stock is in that chest right there. What? Oh, okay. to 
wait for me here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. Right, let's find our parents. So that is one of the autosaves that I was referring to, lads. So you can jack some of their food, but we've got enough for now. So I'm going to go into this house right here because it has a chest that we can lockpick, I believe. Yep, here it is. So if you're on your way here, remember this one, this location, lads. We'll take the bandage. So you can take the skins, but skins actually take a fair amount of your inventory space. They are worth an okay amount, but only really at the beginning of the game. So I, tr I try not to steal those. So you can also get skins by poaching later on in the game if you increase your hunting skill. I'll show you guys very quickly. So if you go here to hunting, if you go to Tanner, you're able to skin dead animals. You need to be level 5 and you need to get this perk and that will allow you to get the skins. So let's pull out the bow. Because there's a guy right here. We'll make a preemptive shot. Pull out our sword. Oi, get back here, you little git. You're the thief. No one cares if you die. There we go. And then I often choose to mercy kill them. We've got after we put our loot after we put our weapon away. Simply because you don't want the grime on your weapon. It does do sometimes a bit of durability damage to your weapon as well. You get blood on your weapon and that's not good. So these are our former neighbours, so I personally think it's okay for us to do this. You know. We'll take his Groshen. It's a charcoal burner, dude. Sweet Jesus. It's the charcoal burner. Yeah, we bought off from it. We bought from him one day ago during the Scalitz arc. So this guy will start running away from you, lads, but he'll run in this direction. So I'm getting as close hey! as I can. There we are. No! Leave me be! Don't kill me. I, I have nothing. Who cares? You're a bandit, broski. And he died from that. What a weak thing. Just like stamp on his neck and crush his windpipe so he dies. Pretty savage. 
He's only got nine Groshen, but so what? We're poor. We'll take it. And then there's a couple more chests over in this housing area that you should take note of. Because you'll once you find very hard chests... Hey, who's what? Who's that? I don't remember there being another dude. I mean, to be fair, my memory's bad. Here he is. Woo! Bang! Bang! He shouldn't have alerted me to his presence, should he, lads? So this isn't bad gear. Like At the very start, if you didn't have my gear, this would be the stuff that you're changing your armor around on. Because that's not too bad at the start of the game. Ooh! Vitality. Good stuff. Alright, now let's to go do those lock picking areas. So I think it's this house and maybe another house. See, lock picking very easy. Uh, even if there's no loot, as long as you're getting XP for lock picking, honestly, it is worth your time and effort. So you can sleep and save there if you want to. Is this the place with the chest? No. Okay, so that very easy door might have been the only one you can gain XP from. But it is what it is. So obviously this is burnt down, we can't go past it. So we just follow the hill. And there's another guy up here, so I'm getting my bow out. Like, imagine how hard it would be to snipe without the cheat. That, well, it's not even a cheat. It's just a little aid type thing that we use. So, when you get better bows, you'll find they actually shoot further. So, with this, for the bad bows, you're actually going to need and want to aim it higher. But for the better bows, they're, they're great. Ah! So we shot him right in the hand, and that's sword level 6, I believe. Is it not? Yeah, it's level 6. Mercy killed the dude we shot in the hand. Now, just imagine how much pain getting shot in the hand is, especially on a cold, damp day like this. And this guy has a marigold decoction, and that is worth stealing that. Okay, let's just drop 10 of these. There we are. So here's a little something very interesting for you guys. So obviously we jacked all of his gear and that is why he's wearing <laughs> bare clothes. But there's a sword right here for you guys to jack. So if you haven't actually acquired any other weapons, you will be losing this sword here um, very soon in this mission. So it's actually just good to pick this up. But... Sadly, actually, so this is worth more than this, and that takes up more space anyway, so I will be dropping that because I have no space for anything. And here's another thing for you guys. So, we, earlier in the series, we had a girlfriend, kind of. Like, I think we intended to marry the woman. Take his Russian. And he also has some meat there for you guys. So the, Henry had a lady that he was courting. By his side, he did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon her like me. Whatever. Yeah, so she actually has a ring that you can take and just say with snaps. So it's worth going for that. Take care of my parents, and then I'll come back for you. I won't leave you like this. Why 
did he do it to me, Father? Why? I don't Why think it was by choice, me? brother. Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I promise I won't run, lads. I'll never run away again. the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find this shovel and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Let's go get ourselves a shovel. As a good precaution, I am actually going to unequip this. And let's go for the mace. So we haven't got the strength yet, but this is a strength weapon. And we're going to lose this, so we might as well just not equip it. You know. So we're now going to get a shovel. But there's one little secret that I think I can show to you guys that you'll like. That's a shovel right there, lads. Get away, you beast! What's going on? Mishak, what in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? And isn't that Body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Well, it's pretty obvious, mate. Seems to me that dog knows exactly why he's going for you. You're picking dead men's pockets. Am I? Well, it looks like I'm not the only one. How is your looting more honorable than mine? True enough. The birds of a feather. Well, at least you admit it. Did you only come here to loot, or have you got other reasons? I came to bury my head. I came to light you, and you're in my way. Fuck you. Oh, the dude's feeling brave. <laughs> All right, the bastard. You got me. Got him. That's right. Turn tail and run, you bastard. Alright, lads, I want to show you a little secret that I've been made aware of later in the game. So I don't know if we can actually take it now. Okay, I'm going to... What can we get rid of? I hate being overweight. Um, We're 3.9 overweight. That's always saddening, isn't it? Um, I don't really want to drop that. Uh, that's literally all our food, lads. And our energy is fairly low. So, we have a gold ring. It's better. So, meh. Oh no, lads. We're heavy. I just can't wait until we can get rid of both of these damn things that we do not need. Um, what's our strength? Oh, no, it's a shame that we wasn't able to increase our strength 
from bite, well, from fighting that dude. Whatever, I'll just show you guys a secret that I know of. So if you go to right here, you can actually dig here, and you can find a very interesting prize. It is Le Bedi Treasure. Open up, Baran's Cup weighs two. That's horrible, don't do that to me. Alright, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Scotland. It belongs to Baron. But who knows? Maybe he managed to get away. Now what? <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be ending this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you picked up some nice trick tips and tricks. So I would always recommend using that archery thing in this. Uh, so we're going to be continuing from exactly where we're leaving off in the next episode. So please tune in. And I hope you enjoy. Right, peace.